Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Board Sports Network's presentation of the 2020 Baseball America season. We are at the end of week three, and for tonight's matchup, we have the Columbus Silverhawks at 6-6 six and six at the New Mexico Aztecs, who are at 4-8. Uh, New Mexico is one of the weaker teams in the West, and Columbus, uh, even though lately they've had a little bit of luck, they've on a, they're on a two-game winning streak. They're considered one of the weaker teams in the East. So Columbus and New Mexico haven't been featured on the channel yet. So I figured I'd go ahead and post their or uh, record their two game series and, and see how it goes. The starter today for Columbus will be Charlie Guerrero. He is one and oh with a 4.85 ERA after two starts, 14 strikeouts, five walks, seven runs scored and a whip of 1.39. And he will be going up against Garrett Roddick, who is actually getting his first start of the year after starting the season injured. So he is, has a 0-0 zero and zero record. For Columbus, your lineup starting off at shortstop will be Jorge Gonzalez. He's batting 217 with zero home runs and four RBIs. Ron Mazzoli will be in left field. He's batting 196 with three RBIs. At first base will be Ricky Roynell. He's batting 306 with two home runs and six RBIs. Batting four, clean up will be Rosario Hill in center field. He's batting 368, four home runs and six RBIs. Fifth will be in right field, Denny Klug. He's batting 302, one home run, three RBIs. Batting sixth will be Joey Milner. He is playing third base, batting 180. Batting seventh will be the catching. It will be the catcher, Wes Horton. He's batting 250 with four RBIs. Batting eighth will be Kent Brunner at second base. He's batting 243 with two home runs, seven RBIs. And batting eighth will be the DH, Burmy Conroy. He is batting 125 with three RBIs. For New Mexico, leading off will be Otis Terrell in left field. He's batting 250 with three RBIs. Reggie Horner will be at second base. Batting second, he's batting 243. 240 with three RBIs. Edgar Santiago will be at first base, batting 386, two home runs, 11 RBIs. Doug Smoles is batting cleanup in right field. He's batting 298 with four home runs and 10 RBIs. Palmer Terry will get the start at third today. He's batting 188 with one home run, two RBIs. Lamelo King will be in center field, batting 258 with five RBIs. Eddie Machado gets the start behind the plate today, batting 316 with one home run and four RBIs. Dean Hink will be the DH, batting 167. And Mike Vesberg, coming back from injury, will be at shortstop, batting 280 with one home run and two RBIs. We are at Classic Bank Ballpark today, the only artificial turf park in Baseball America. And your umpires for today's game, Dave Houts will be behind the plate. Gary Riffberger will be at first. Chris Andreezy will be at second. And Chuck McWilliams will be in thir at third base. So the national anthem has been sung. The Aztecs have taken the field, and Jorge Gonzalez will be stepping up to the plate to get started for today against Garrett Roddick, getting his first start. 2-3-5 is Roddick wild? No. Is Gonzalez eager? The side of die says yes, but he is also a whiffer, so that'll be a strikeout to start the game. Trying a different uh, camera setup and a different way of doing things today. So we'll see how this goes. Still trying to find the perfect setup for me to uh, get you guys the most uh, best picture here as well as the best setup for myself. So still trying to find that sweet spot. I think, think I'm starting to get a little dialed in, but we'll see as the left fielder Ron Mazzoli steps up to the plate with one out. Two, four, six. Does Roddick have control? He does, and that is a ground out to the pitcher for the second out. Next up will be Ricky Roynell, the first baseman. 2-3-3, three, three. pitcher an ace or a star, no. Is the batter a slugger? The decider die says no, and that'll be a fly out to the center fielder, Lamelo King, for the third out. So the Silverhawks go down 1-2-3. And Garrett Roddick's first inning of work as the Aztecs come up to the plate and left fielder Otis Terrell 
will be leading off. 246. Pitcher have control, he does, and that is a 1 3 ground out. To start the game for Charlie Guerrero. Next up will be the second baseman, Reggie Horner. 1 1 2. Is he flash? He is. Is Horner a good eye? Decided eye says no, and that'll be a strikeout for the second out of the game. Edgar Santiago, the first baseman, comes up to the plate. He can be dangerous. 3 5. 3-3-5. Three, three, is pitcher wild? No. Batter a sad sack? No. And that's going to be a single to right field. So we get our first hit of the ball game. Comes off of the first baseman, Ed Edgar Santiago. As Doug Smoles comes up to the plate. With one on and two out here in the bottom of the first. 3-4-6. Is the batter eager? He is not. And that's going to be a walk. And we go to a team chemistry check. Today, New Mexico is, actually they are dissonant until further notice. And Columbus is full harmony, full harmony today. So they got the upper hand when it comes to team chemistry. 2-6 is the batting team harmony. They are not, and that's going to be a ground out to the second baseman to end the inning. So they get two on, and that was Palmer Terry. He couldn't do anything with him. And Rosario Hill will be up to uh, leading off the top of the second for Columbus. He is playing center field today. 5-5-6. Five, five, is pitcher an ace? No. Better a sad sack? No. And that's going to be a double to right field to start the top of the second. The right fielder, Denny Klug, will be up next. Two, three, four. Are the runners on base? There are, and that'll be a plate drama check. Two, six. Is the catcher iron? That'll be Eddie Machado. He is semi iron, but the decider die says not this time. So that is going to be right down the pipe, and the catcher gloves it for a strike, and then we go to an umpire check with the runner on first, or runner on second, excuse me. 1-5. Do we have a respected umpire at home? We do. And that is strike three looking for Denny Klug for the first out of the second. Next up will be the third baseman, Joey Milner, with one on and one out here in the top of the second. 1-2-4. Pitcher have control. The Sutter die says no. Is batter eager? No, and that is going to be a walk for Milner. We've got runners at first and second here with one out for the catcher, Wes Horton. Batting left-handed against the righty, Garrett Roddick. Three, five, six. Are they the same? No. Utility or sad sack? No, and that's going to be a single down the line. Runners advance two bases on any hit or single. Do we have a stoic runner on first? He is semi-stoic, but the decider die says no. So that's going to be a shot down the right field line. Rosario Hill is going to come in to score. Milner is going to go to third, and Wes Horton is going to hold up at first as we have our first run of the ball game. It is one to nothing. Silverhawks here in the top of the first with one out and the runners on the corners. Wes Horton is a stoic runner, so he's not going to be stealing. Although Machado is a semi-iron catcher. But we'll see what Kent Brenner can do here with runners at first and third with no out, or one out. 1-1-4. One, one, is the pitcher fresh? He is. That's going to be a 6-4-3 ground out to end the top of the second. Silverhawks get one on the board as it's one to nothing going into the bottom of the second. And LaMelo King will be leading off for the Aztecs. One, two, six. Is the pitcher fresh? He is, and that is a line out to the second baseman. We're out number one. Kent Brenner gloved that one. Off the bat of King as Eddie Machado steps up to the plate now. He is a switch hitter batting left against Charlie Guerrero. One, three, five. That's going to be a red one, black five chart check. One, 
one six line out into as many outs as possible so that's just going to be one possible triple play there but that's going to be a shot right back to the pitcher charlie guerrero and he's going to glove it for the second out he's walking around the mound a little bit a little shaken up under the off after that one but he's going to compose himself and get right back out there to face the dh dean hinkle a utility player batting DH today because I believe my or uh, New Mexico's third baseman Jason Ackerman he is injured until further notice so Palmer Terry is taking over at third base instead of DHing himself so Aztecs hurting a little bit with injuries three five five. Is pitcher a struggler or a gilded? No. Is the batter a champion? No. And that is going to be a ground out to the second baseman, Kent Brunner, to end the inning. So to the top of the third we go. And the DH, Burmy Conroy, will be up to the plate, up to uh, leading off for Columbus. Backup first baseman, he is DHing today. Two, four, six. Does pitcher have control? Decided I says yes, and that's gonna be a ground out right back to the pitcher. Columbus is a an Eastern team, so they are playing with a DH today against the Western New Mexico Aztecs. So they get an extra bat in their lineup they're not used to as the shortstop Jorge Gonzalez comes up to the plate. Over one with a strikeout today. 2-2-4. Two, two, are they pitching at home? They are. And they, that will be a pop out to the shortstop Mike Vesberg for the second out. And left fielder Ron Mazzoli steps up to the plate. Over one with a ground out to the pitcher. His first bat. 1-2-3. Is the pitcher both flash and fresh? He is, and that is going to be strike three swinging on Mazzoli. So to the bottom of the third we go. Garrett Roddick gets a semi-fresh flag as the shortstop Mike Vesper steps up, up to the plate for New Mexico, leading off the bottom of the third. One, two, five. Is the pitcher a struggler? No. Is the batter patient? No. Is he a whiffer? No, that's going to be a ground out to Joey Milner at third base for the 5-3 put out. Next up will be the left fielder Otis Terrell. He is 0 for 1 today with a ground out to the pitcher. 2-4-5. Is he a hero? Decided I says no. That's going to be a pop out to the second baseman Brunner for out number 2. If we go to a player experience check for the second baseman, Reggie Horner. So you have a semi-icon Guerrero against a full icon Horner. We got some experience out there in this matchup. 3-6 is the pitcher prospect. He is not, and that is going to be a fly out to the left fielder, Ron Mazzoli, for out number three. So New Mexico goes down quietly. They still only have one hit in this game. As we go to the top of the fourth, and the first baseman, Ricky Roy Nail, coming up. He is 0 for 1 with a flyout for Columbus. 3 3 4. Is pitcher an ace or a star? No. Batter sad sack? No. And that is going to be. He is not eager. So that's going to be a single to left field to start off the top of the fourth. And the center fielder, Rosario Hill, will come up to the plate. He is one for one of a double to the right field gap, his first at bat. Four, five, six. Is he patient? He is not. And that's going to be a fly out to the center fielder for the first out. We go to a, a team chemistry check for the right fielder, Denny Klug, who is 0 for 1 today with a strikeout. 1-4 is the batting team dissonance. Columbus is not, and that's going to be a single. Past the first, or uh, yeah, past the first baseman. And actually, I know it's going to be a single up the middle. Roynell is going to go to second, and Klug will hold up at 
first for a one out single. Next up will be the third baseman, Joey Milner. He walked his first at bat. We have runners at first and second here with one out here in the top of the fourth. 255 is the pitcher a star? No. Is the batter a home run king? He is not. And that's going to be a fly out to the left fielder, Otis Terrell, for out number two. So if he was a home run king, he would have made this a three to nothing game, but he just ended up flying out to the left fielder. So we stay at one to nothing. It would have been a four to nothing game. And the catcher, Wes Horton, is up to play up to the plate now. He is one for one with a single today. Two, four, six. Pitcher have control. The Saturday dice is not this time. Is he eager or sad sack? No. And he is going to get a walk to load the bases for the second baseman, Kent Brunner. So Roddick in a little bit of trouble here. Can you still get out of it though? Brunner is 0 for 1 with a ground out to the shortstop today. 1, 2, 3. Is he both flash and fresh? He is flash. The side of die says he is fresh. And that is an ending, inning, ending strikeout with the bases loaded. So Roddick gets out of it. As we go to the bottom of the fourth, Edgar Santiago will be leading off for the New Mexico Aztecs. He is one for one today with a single 2-2-5. Two, two, is the pitcher a star? No. Is the batter slugger a sad sack? He is a slugger. And he, that will be a pop-out to the right fielder, Denny Klug. So he just got under it and wasn't able to carry it out of this big ballpark. For the first out of the inning. And next up will be the right fielder, Doug Smoles. He walked today, his first at bat. 2 2 4. Are they pitching at home? No. Is he a slugger? He is. And this time that'll be a double to left field. So he shoots one the opposite way into the gap. And he is reaching second base safely with one out here. As Palmer Terry. Comes up to the plate. He is 0 for 1 today with a ground out to the second baseman. So let's see what he can do here. 5 6 6. Is the pitcher wild? No. Is the batter have a good eye? No. And he will strike out for the second out of the inning. And we go to a baseball right now check. We are in the fourth, so there the pitcher is semi hot. Lamelo King is 0 for 1. He lined out his first bat, so he is semi-cold. We check the baseball right now chart with two outs. 6-6. Six, six. Is this a hot batter? It is. He is not, but that'll be a fence check anyway instead of an automatic home run if he was hot. So he is a semi-scrapper. But not this time, so we go to the other check for the fence chart. A one through three is a double, four five is a triple, and a six is a home run. And he hits a five, so he ties this game up with a triple to the right field gap, we'll say. So Smoles is going to come around to score. Lamelo King is going to pull up at third base. And we are now one to one tie ball game here with two outs in the bottom of the fourth. And Eddie Machado coming up to the plate. He is 0 for 1 with a line out to the pitcher, his first at bat. 2 4 4. Is pitcher an ace? No. Is a batter champion? No. And he will end up striking out for the third out. So Guerrero comes back. After that tying triple, and strikes out Machado for the third out. But we are all tied up here as we go to the top of the fifth. Garrett Roddick coming back out to face the DH, Burmy Conroy. 0 for 1 today with a ground out. 1, 2, 5. Is he a struggler? No. Is the batter patient? No. And that is going to be a ground out to the third baseman, Palmer Terry, to start the fifth. Next up would be the leadoff batter, Jorge Gonzalez. He is 0 for 2 today at the strikeout and a flyout. 2 3 5. Is pitcher wild? No. Batter eager. The side of the eye says no. 
And that will be a ground out to the second baseman, Reggie Horner, for the second out. Next up is the left fielder, Ron Mazzoli, 0 for 2 today for ground out and a strikeout. 3 5 5. Is a pitcher struggle or a gilded no? A batter champion. The sighted eye says no. That is going to be a ground out to the second baseman, Horner, again for the third out. So Columbus goes down quietly there as we go to the bottom of the fifth. We are 1-1. One one. And the DH, Dean Hinkle, ste stepping up to the plate. Both pitchers doing well today. That's usually when I jinx it and everything breaks loose. 1-3-3. One, three, three. No pitcher check. Is about our slugger? No. And that's going to be a fly out to the left fielder, Ron Mazzoli. Start at the bottom of the fifth. Shortstop Mike Vesberg steps into the box now. He is 0 for 1 today. It's ground out to the third baseman. 1 2 5. Is the pitcher struggler? No. Batter patient? No. He ends up striking out for the second out of the inning. I'm sorry, Vesberg wasn't the. I can't remember if I said he was the leadoff batter or not. I think I was thinking of the other shortstop, Jorge Gonzalez. So if I said that, I apologize. If not, just pretend I'm just rambling to myself for no reason. Now we have the left fielder, Otis Terrell, leadoff batter, stepping up to the plate for New Mexico here in the bottom of the fifth with two outs. He is over two today with a ground out and a fly out. Two, four, five. Is he a hero? Decided I says no, and he will be popping up to the second baseman, Kent Brunner, for the third out. So to the top of the sixth we go. We are all knotted up here one-to-one -one as the first baseman, Ricky Roy, Roy now comes up to the plate. Garrett Roddick going into his sixth inning of work. Pretty good for his first start out this season as Roy Nell is one for two with a fly out and a single. One, two, five. Is the pitcher a struggler? No. Is the batter patient? No. And that will be a ground out to the third baseman, Palmer Terry, to start the inning. Next up will be the center fielder, Rosario Hill. One for two today with a double. Two, four, four. Is the pitcher an ace? No. Is the batter champion? No. And that will be a ground out to the shortstop, Mike Vesberg. For out number two. And the right fielder, Denny Klug, will step up to the plate. He is one for two today with a strikeout and a single. One, three, four. Is the catcher gold? That is Machado. He is not. Is the batter champion? No. And that's going to be an outfield drama check, our first of the day. And we are looking at the center fielder to see if he is iron. That'll be LaMelo King. And he is semi-gold, so that'll be a no. 2-5. That's going to be a running grab of a looping liner for out number three. So we go to the bottom of the sixth here, 1-1 one, one ball game. As the second baseman, Reggie Horner, stepping up to the plate, he is 0 for 2 today with a strikeout and a flyout. And Garrett Roddick will be not fresh any longer as he has given up a run after his third inning of, after his sixth inning of work. Charlie Guerrero still semi-fresh out here on the mound. 2-3-6. Is he DB control or dynamic? No. Is the pitcher batting? No. And that'll be a leadoff walk to the second baseman, Reggie Horner, who is a semi-stoic semi runner. Wes Horton, I believe, is gold? Semi-gold. So it might be tough stealing on him today. As Edgar Santiago comes up to the plate, first baseman, he is one for two. He can bust things open here. He has the capability, one, four, six. Is the pitcher flash? He is. Is the batter good? I know, and that'll be a strikeout for out number one. And the right fielder, Doug Smoles, comes up to the plate. He can do some damage here. He's got four home runs and 10 RBIs this year. He's one for one with a double today. Three, four, six. No bat, no pitcher check. Is the batter eager? He is not, and that's going to be a walk. 
the Guerrero might be getting into a little bit of trouble here as we go to a team chemistry check and it may he may uh, get out of this since they are Columbus is harmony and New Mexico is dissonant so see what comes up here three six is the batting team harmony they are not and that's gonna be a pop out to the left fielder Ron Mazzoli or out number two the Guerrero may get out of this as the center fielder Lamelo King comes up to the plate he had the RBI for uh, the Aztecs as he had a triple his last at bat we have runners at first and second here with two outs Lamelo King up to the plate two three six DB controller dynamic as the pitcher batting no that'll be a walk so base is loaded here in the bottom of the sixth and Eddie Machado is up to the bat. He is over two with a line out and a strikeout. One, three, four is the catcher gold. He is semi gold. The sighted eye says yes. Machado is not a good eye, so that will be a strikeout to end the inning. So got some excitement there, but. Nothing able to come of it. As we go to the top of the seventh now. As we go to the top of the seventh, it is one to one. That's what I like about either a two strong teams playing, it's usually close, or two weak teams, it's usually close with either a good pitching battle or just a slugfest. But we have a good game going on here. As the Silverhawks and the Aztecs are tied up at one. Silverhawks have four hits. Aztecs have three. Columbus has left four on base. New Mexico has left six as Garrett Roddick comes in to his seventh inning of work. And they're going to get a couple relievers up. Just in case things go south on him, they can try to bail him out. New Mexico's bullpen actually isn't all that bad. It's just I don't think they can ever get any offense to back them up. The third baseman, Joey Milder, comes up to the plate. He is 0 for 1 today with a walk and a fly out. 4 6 6. Pitcher have control. Saturday says no. Is batter a home run king or slugger? And that'll be a strikeout. That's that 4 6 6 line. So Roddick was able to skirt it with a decider die, not uh, saying he was not in control. If he was in control, that would have been a single to left field, but it is now one out with Wes Horton stepping up to the plate. One for one today with a single and a walk. A 1-2-2 two, two. is the pitcher Workman. No. Batter Champ or Whiffer. No. And that's going to be a line out to the third baseman Palmer Terry for out number two. And the second baseman Kent Brunner stepping up to the plate. 0 for 2 today with a ground out and a strikeout. 155. Is he a home run king? He is. And this game is now not tied anymore as Kent Brunner hits a shot to center field that clears the wall. And it is now 2 to 1 Columbus. As the DH Burmy Conroy comes up to the plate now. 0 for 2 today with two ground outs. 1 2 2. Is the pitcher a workman? No. Batter champ or whiffer? No. And that's going to be a line out to the third baseman, Palmer Terry, to end the inning. Brunner with a shot there. To put Columbus ahead 2-1 to one, going into the bottom of the seventh. And Columbus is going to get a couple relievers up. That may have been Roddick's last inning of work. Great start today for his first time out so can't can't fault him for that he did his job as Columbus will get a righty and a lefty up in the bullpen for Charlie Guerrero as he enters his seventh inning of work we have the DH Dean Hinkle leading off 0 for 2 today with a ground out and a fly out 1-2-5 is the pitcher struggler no batter patient no that's going to be a ground out to the third baseman Joey Milner Start the bottom of the seventh. Mike Vesper, the shortstop, stepping up now. He is 0 for 2 with a ground out and a strikeout. 3 4 6. Is he eager? No. And that's going to be a base on balls. 
and a team chemistry check for the left fielder Otis Terrell. 0 for 3 today. It's a ground out, two fly outs. 5 6 is the pitching team dissonance. Columbus is not. And that's going to be a strikeout for Otis Terrell in the second out of the inning. Mike Vesberg is a semi active runner. Do they take the chance here with a semi gold catcher? Because after that strikeout, we go to a baseball right now check. Reggie Horner is hot. He got on with a walk, but the pitcher is hot also. Oh, decisions, decisions. We're going to let the decider die decide if uh, Vesper goes for the steal or not. Bullet, yes. Blank, no. And we are going to attempt a steal. Let's see if he can get a jump. He is semi-active, so he needs a 2 through 7 or a 12. He gets an 11, so he's not going to... He doesn't get his jump anyway. And we go to the baseball right now chart for the second baseman, Reggie Horner. 0 for 2 with a strikeout, fly out, and walk. So he is hot. Charlie Guerrero just got the strikeout. He is hot. 1-4. Is the batter cold? No. And that's going to be an outfield drama check. And we are going to check on the center fielder and see if he is gold. That'll be Rosario Hill. He is full gold. So 2-4. That is a sensational dive and a catch for the third out. So Charlie Guerrero gets through seven innings of work. We'll see what happens when he come when uh, we go to the bottom of the eighth. As we go to the top of the eighth now, we have a righty, righty, righty. So I'm going to send up Jim Bittinger to relieve. Garrett Roddick, who gets a standing ovation for his first outing of the year and only giving up two runs. Jim Bittinger will come in on top of the eighth, and he will face Jorge Gonzalez, Ron Mazzoli, and Ricky Roy now here in the eighth inning. Gonzalez is leading off. He is 0 for 3 today. 2-2-3. Two, two, is Bittinger wild? No. Batter, slugger, or utility? No. That's going to be a single to left field. And he will end up stealing second base after that. Automatic stolen base. As we go to the left fielder, Ron Mazzoli. 0 for 3 today. 2 5 6. Is the pitcher struggler? No. Batter, champion, or patient? He is champion, and that's going to be a walk. So the first two get on here in the top of the eighth. And Bittinger, who's actually not, he's actually a pretty decent pitcher running into some issues as the first baseman. Ricky Roy now comes up to the plate. One for three today. One, two, three. Is he both flash and fresh? He is, and that will be a strikeout for the first out. So a big strikeout there. And the center fielder and cleanup batter, uh, Rosario Hill, up to the plate now. He is one for three today. See what he can do. Two, two, five. Is Bittinger a star? He is. That's going to be a ground out to the second baseman. So that will be a fielder's choice. 4-6. Gonzalez is going to go to third. Mazzoli is going to be out. On the force out. And Rosario Hill is going to reach first. So you have runners here at the corners here with two outs. Here in the top of the eighth. And the right fielder, Denny Clug, will be up. He is one for three today. <laughs> Excuse me. Two, two, five again. Is he a star? Yes, he is. And that is going to be a ground out to the second baseman once again. So Bettinger gets out of that. As we go to the bottom of the eighth. Do I leave Charlie Guerrero out? He's facing three, four, five. And we are going to go ahead and we got a lefty, lefty, lefty. So Steve Hubbard is going to come in in relief. Get my little runs given up markers here in place. You can't see them, but I use some dice to kind of uh, keep track of my how many runs my pitchers give up. 
So I know, so I know a little bit easy, better have an idea who uh, who gets the win and the loss. But Steve Hubbard is going to come in in the bottom of the eighth here to face Edgar Santiago, Doug Smoles, and Palmer Terry. So Santiago is going to be leading off here. He is one for three with a single fly out and a strikeout. Four, five, five is a pitcher flash. He is, and that'll be a strikeout. So Santiago goes down on strikes once again as the right fielder, Doug Smoles, comes up to the plate. One for one today with a double and two walks. One, one, five is a pitcher fresh. He is, and that's going to be a pop out to the first baseman, Ricky Roy now. For out number two. So Hubbard. Mowing him down as we go to Palmer Terry, the third baseman. He is over three today with a ground out, fly out, and a strikeout. Three, three, four is the pitcher, an ace or star. He is a star, and that's going to be a pop out to the first baseman, Ricky Roy. Now for out number three. So a quick little half inning of work there for Steve Hubbard as he gets the semi fresh flag, and Jim Bittinger is going to come back out for his second inning of work against the third baseman, Joey Milner. Milner over two today. We are in the top of the ninth here, two to one ball game. Great game today, actually, two, two, three. Is Bittinger Wild? No, batter slugger or utility, he is a slugger. And that's gonna be a line out to the shortstop, Mike Bestberg for out number one. Next up will be the catcher, Wes Horton. One for two today with a single. 366. Six. Is he a pinch hitter? No, he is not. And that's going to be a fly out to the center fielder. LaMelo King for out number two. And the second baseman, Kent Brunner, comes up to the plate. He had that home run. His last at bat to put him ahead two to one. Is it going to be enough to end the ball? Uh oh, 555. Five, five. Is the pitcher an ace or a star? He is a star. And that's going to be a deep fly out to the right fielder, Doug Small. So Brunner just about. Had another one there. If he could have got to the fielder's check, that would have been a home run. But Benninger is a star pitcher. And he ends up getting him to fly out. As we go to the bottom of the ninth here, Columbus is going to, Hubbard is going to go out. And his, actually, he is not on the record anymore. And Columbus's closer, Lenny Mahler, will be coming in to pitch, coming in to close this one out here in the bottom of the ninth, working with a two to one lead. And he will face the center fielder, Lamelo King, the catcher, Eddie Machado, and the DH, Dean Hinkle, here in the bottom of the ninth. Lamelo King is up first. He is one for two with a triple. One, two, three is batter both or pitcher both flash and fresh. He is, and that's going to be a leadoff strikeout for Lamelo King. Next up will be the catcher Eddie Machado. He is over three with a line out and two strikeouts. One, three, four. We have a gold catcher decided. I says yes, and that is going to be a strikeout. So two strikeouts here for Lenny Mahler. And the DH, Dean Hinkle, will be up next. He is 0 for 3 with two ground outs and fly out. 3, 5, 6. Are they the same? Righty on righty they are, and that's going to be a strikeout, and that will end the game. Great game here between two of the weaker teams as Columbus takes it 2-1 to one over the New Mexico Aztecs. And I will be back in a moment with your post-game report. So your final today here at Classic Bank Park here in New Mexico, the Columbus Silverhawks 2, the New Mexico Aztecs 1. Columbus moves to 7-6 and six on the year, while New Mexico drops to 4-9. and nine. Columbus had two runs on six hits, no errors, and six left on base. New Mexico had one run on three hits, no errors, and seven left on base. Your winning pitcher today was Charlie Guerrero, he went seven innings, gave up one run, seven strikeouts, and five walks, and he moves to 2-0 on the year. The loss goes to Garrett Reddick. He picks up 
uh, his first loss of the season and his first start, he went, or he is now 0 for 1, 0 and 1, with seven innings pitched, two runs, five strikeouts, and two walks. And the save goes to Lenny Mahler, his third of the year. He went one inning and gave up three strikeouts. So a great game today. Be sure to join us tomorrow night as we have game two of this short two-game series. And um, as always, if you enjoy it, please give me a uh, give me a like, leave a comment, and let me know what you think. And um, you know, just let me know how things are going and if you're enjoying this or not. And also leave me a comment with. Uh, if you'd like to see a particular team or a particular matchup, a certain pitcher you guys want to see that's doing really well in the league right now, or um, just whatever you guys want to see, let me know, and I will, uh, I'll will do games focused on those players. Like, for instance, if Jermichael Jones is going to be pitching, I believe he's got a 0.4 ERA right now. Probably his next start I'm going to record. Um, but just things like that, if you guys have a certain player or you want to see certain things, let me know in the comments and, and we'll get those games featured. But until then, thank you for watching. Um, and you know, be sure to catch us for game two tomorrow night between Columbus and New Mexico. Have a great night and God bless.